ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into another college football stadium video. And today I'm going over my top 10 weirdest college football stadiums here in 2023. And we're going to be kicking it off at number 10. It is Albertson's Stadium, home of Boise State. And you might be saying, of course, it's going to be on this list because of the blue field. And, and certainly everyone has their own opinion about the blue field. I would love to see a snow game in Boise and see the contrast with the white and the dark blue. But yeah, I mean, could you imagine Alabama playing at this field, Ohio State? How pissed off would their fans be? They would have to watch a dark blue field. It, it is kind of annoying watching it for extended periods of time, the field. But it's not just the field. Also, the shape of the stadium is a little bit strange. You've got the lower bowl and then kind of a bigger upper deck, although it is very close to the action. They are scheduled to undergo a end zone renovation coming up and that's supposed to be completed by 2025 the stadium the seating looks a bit discombobulated from several of these images but of course it is a weird stadium just for the fact that it is a blue field there's no doubt about that uh, the next one at number nine it, it okay so this this is eastern michigan I, I don't know i have no clue eastern michigan in 2014 thought of the genius idea to paint their field gray. And now every Eastern Michigan home game, it looks like the game is being broadcast in the 1940s, folks. What are we doing with this? It's just so ugly. The stadium itself, it looks really bad. I mean, look at the track behind it, and then it's got some bleachers, but... Yeah, there's definitely better high school stadiums than this college stadium, but it is kind of typical of the MAC. Either way, this stadium, I guess you could say it's unique. I just think it's a horrible thing to have your field gray. I mean, there's a few other colors you could try and make it work. You can't really make gray work. It's just going to appear black and white on TV, which makes it annoying to try and watch. A lot of people have, you know, talked about that. I think they had a game at home on ESPNU or something, and people were like, what is this? Uh, but yeah, that stadium comes in at number nine in weirdest stadiums. At number eight, it's SECU Stadium, home of Maryland. And this is one, you know, I've talked about recently. It's just completely, in my opinion, lopsided. Like, if you look behind one of the end zones, there's, like, no seating, and then right to the left of that, there's a massive upper deck. It's just the seating proportions are not done properly, and also Maryland really struggles to sell this place out. It becomes a complete eyesore when you look at the upper deck. They really need some type of huge renovation to try and save this stadium. What they need to do... Just get rid of the upper deck, honestly. You could put on some nice club seating seat, seats up there, close out the entire end zone, put some end zone seating. That might help the stadium. This stadium is in desperate need of a renovation. It's very strange. It just looks lopsided. Like there's one random big upper deck, but it, it only takes up like eight sections and then it just cuts off abruptly. And then to the right of it, there's nothing there. So it's just very weird. So to me, it, it just looks bad aesthetically, not a fan of it, and it is a weird design. The seating design is very strange. I've never seen an upper deck design like that. It comes in at number eight on my list. At number seven, it is Bill Schneider Family Field, home of Kansas State. And you might be wondering, looking at the interior of this stadium, it looks very fine. It kind of looks a little bit bland. Why would this be on the weirdest stadiums list? Well, if you look at the exterior... I don't know how this happened, but it looks like a castle. I mean, I like it. It's a nice design, but it's very, it looks like a dungeon or something. Very, uh, you know, interesting lighting. You can see some photos there. But yeah, Kansas State, the exterior of it, it's a literal castle. So I had to throw it on the weirdest stadiums list. Also, they do have one side of their stadium that's like four or five straight levels of suites. And I guess that kind of is becoming more commonplace when it comes to stadiums, but still seeing like four or five straight uninterrupted levels of suites is kind of rare as well. Again, the interior of the stadium, not so much in terms of it being weird. It really is just the exterior. It looks like a giant uh, medieval castle, which is very cool. So it comes in at number seven. At number six, it's Harvard Stadium. Yes, the Coliseum, the Roman Coliseum, you can see the exterior of it really resembles it. This is a stadium like most 
stadiums from the Ivy League that is kind of frozen in time. It really hasn't received any renovations. They've actually taken seats out behind one of the end zones, and now it just forms a, a big U or a horseshoe, kind of like Ohio Stadium without the student section and obviously without a second deck or an upper deck. It is just kind of a lower bowl U-shape design. Harvard Stadium, the exterior of it makes it very unique, though. It comes in at number six on my list. At number five, it is the Fargo Dome. So you could really throw in any of those domes out, you know, in Idaho, in North Dakota. They have these stadiums, especially the Fargo Dome. Dome. It is just four separate you know, sections of seats that are really steep and they're like walls of seats. I will say every seat at the Fargo Dome seems like a very good viewing experience. There's no upper deck to it. It's very small. It's very compact. And we know North Dakota State, they've been so good. It would be awesome to see. It, it's a shame that this never happened. When North Dakota State, you know, they had Carson Wentz, they had Trey Lance, although Trey Lance was kind of, he barely even played for them. But when they were really good, imagine a big time Power 5 team going to the Fargo Dome or them playing a home and home. How raucous it would be because it's such a small capacity, but it, you can trap the noise in the stadium because it is a dome. And it's just, it's not like the Carrier Dome or I guess whatever it's called, JMA Wireless Center. It's not like that where it has two decks. It's very small and compact. So the, the crowd noise you could get trapped into there, that would be interesting to factor in. But we never got to see that. Uh, but you can see it is a very interesting design and certainly something we're not used to in the world of college football. There are several stadiums like that, but they're normally all the FCS level. And the Fargo Dome is probably the most notable one. At number four, it is Franklin Field. So this one is the home of Penn University, another Ivy League school. Surprisingly, the capacity of this stadium is around 52,000, so it does seat a lot. And it's, it's not really the capacity. Number one, you're dealing with that humongous track that is in front of all of the stands. So the stands are pushed way far back. And then on top of that, at the one end, end of the end zones, you can see almost like some type of clubhouse area, very nice brick architecture, but that is cool. You know, you could watch a game from that window and, and that's just kind of like a little castle thing that you can see, you know, the fact that it's right up to the stadium, I find very strange and very weird. And the stadium itself, also the exterior is interesting. So a lot of the Ivy League stadiums are kind of cool. You can see there just the design of them because they are so old. Although this one has gotten renovation several times and it is one of the newer Ivy League stadiums. Either way, just the design, the configuration of it is very weird. It comes in at number four for me. At number three, it is Folsom Field. So this is home of Colorado. And in looking at this stadium, the seating, it's just like one giant lower bowl. It severely needs to be renovated. And that's one of the things people have talked about, you know, with Colorado getting better, will they actually renovate their stadium? But what makes it really interesting is the buildings like surrounding it or right up against it, the brick buildings, uh, you know, that people can kind of go out onto the balcony and watch the game. It's kind of a really cool factor that you don't see a lot when it comes to college football stadiums, but it's just the overall configuration where it's just kind of one lower bowl. There's no upper deck, and then there's these buildings attached to the side of it. It really looks disheveled, so that's why I would put it at number three on weirdest stadiums of college football. And then at number two... Cornell University. I mean, I guess technically you could put Ryan Field on here for Northwestern, but this is just next level. I mean, look at the way the seating goes. It's on it's just weird and depressing. It's like this half circle like lobe going around and it's just this wall of seats, but it's curved. I I've always found that that to be very unsettling. It just looks like a giant, you know, half circle there, very strange. And then you can, I mean, it's an Ivy League school. So the one side, there's really no seating at all. It's just grass. And then I think that's a parking garage on the one side. And the other side is just this weird shaped, you know, body of seats. And then throughout the one end zone, you know, there is really nothing there. It looks almost like a garage or something. What a weird stadium that is, right? Uh, that comes in at number two. And then number one, I have to, I, I had to go with it. It's San Jose State Stadium. And I did a video on this at the beginning of the season because they played at home in week zero. And I looked at their stadium and I was like, 
what are they doing with that renovation? So you can take a look at what San Jose State did. They renovated the one entire sideline of their stadium, but it's just grass. So they put grass and then a giant building that quite honestly looks very ugly. So it's just such a strange thing, especially for a renovation. And it, it, like that's why I came out with a video and I said this is the weirdest stadium in college football. And I thought I was going to move it down when I did this list, but I, I just kind of have to leave it at number one because it is very, it's just an odd design feature for a modern day stadium going with like, I don't know, four or five feet of grass right behind one of the sidelines and then a giant building with like no balcony or no anything. You know, I haven't seen that anywhere else when it comes to college football stadiums personally, so that is very strange. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.